Welcome back to Xwop channel. Myself Rakesh and today we are going to see another questions for the certification. And for the certification, I have created a playlist UiPath certification. Hope you have already visited this playlist and started utilizing all the videos that I have placed. So let's get started and understand. So here the question is review the following graphics. Very important and they are using a try catch block here and within the try block you have a type into activity and it is typing some text and below that there is a right line activity saying try and then in the catch section there are three different kind of exceptions they have mentioned exception invalid operation exception argument exception okay and the condition they have given if you look at the property this is very important how do you read the gra graphics so now for the type into activity used in the try block if you look at this in the property panel read this type into here what they have done they have enabled continue on error okay this is a one of the error handling property continue on error now this is enabled now options activate so this is not related to error handling activate means it will bring the notepad to the foreground that is the meaning of activate it will bring it to the foreground and then type okay this is not related but this one is related when continue error is checked and this activity is inside the try block right so the question here is if the automation is executed and notepad.exe is not running that means notepad.exe is not available and the automation you have started which right line text value is contained in the output panel now if you run it which one will get printed this one this one this one or this one so they have given four different options so i'm going to tell you what would be the answer i'm going to tell you and you should not just guess the answer you should always know why that answer should be selected okay so let's get started so first thing what we will do we will use our uh, type into activity okay so what you do uh, to experiment this uh, use enable the show classic and i am going to use uh, see the type into has a uh, uh, circle right so this is a modern activity so i will go with the older type into activity this type type into and i am going to use the classic one okay so that to be slightly easy to explain uh, now the type into activity is added now let's open a notepad okay now let's indicate on screen and i'm going to indicate the notepad done now let us type something let's say i'm going to type my name rakesh and this one it is surrounded by try catch block done now below this below this so first of all i have done this i am not writing anything below this as a for the moment i am going to explain why uh, and then we will put exactly how it is mentioned in the diagram we will do that but let's understand okay the, the understanding is very important because you will not get the same question understanding of this is very important all right now i'm not touching anything in the property panel this is by default so i was talking about activate right activate means this will bring the application to the foreground when the checkbox is selected the specified ui element is brought to the foreground that's all okay so now i'm not making any changes to the property panel now in the catch section let's start adding some exception so what is the first exception it is a system exception right if you look at this is a system exception so system exception and below the system exception let's add a right line activity and what is the text written exception so here i'm going to write exception all right now let's add one more exception which is a invalid operation exception and here 
let's add another right line activity and here let's say invalid operation exception okay what is the third one it's argument exception all right click on add new catch and then select argument exception and add a right line okay just click it outside and now try to add the right line done and here i am going to write argument exception fine so all the design has been done now tell me notepad is open if the notepad is open right if the notepad is open what would happen it will simply type right that is the happy automation so let's uh, run it now if i run this what we are expecting this to write rakesh on to the notepad okay so give it a second all right so it has brought the notepad to the foreground and it has written rakesh so this is understood now what would happen if i close it at the till the time there is no notepad open and till the time i have not changed anything to the property yet because i want to show you something so right now the notepad has been closed now what would happen if you hit on run so it is going to throw an exception right because the notepad is not there what kind of exception will appear the system exception will appear because the ui element is not available so now let's wait for a second let's go back to the studio and keep watching the output so how much what is the default time as per the default activity project settings it is 30 seconds right after 30 seconds what would happen this will go to the this is going to move to the catch block and is going to write the exception so what has been written if you go to the output exception is written that means in the catch block this particular exception has been written so it went to the catch section and has executed this particular block so the output has come as exception invalid operation exception argument exception anyways it won't come right it is not related to that if the notepad is not open now the question here is what will happen if i enable continue on error the moment what is the first of all you should have an understanding uh, what does the continue on error does continue on error means it is going to execute the remaining activities it is not going to stop here if you do not enable here at this moment it is going to throw an error and your automation will stop and if you have a try catch block it will go to the catch block and relevant catch block is going to run but let's say if you enable continue on error what is the what it's supposed to happen it will move to the next activity if there are any activity it is going to move to the next activity it is not going to throw any error so right now i have not added any activity i have enabled continue on error and let me run it or let me debug it so that you can see it how it is working okay so the continue on error is now checked so what will happen the notepad i have closed so it will go to the it will go to the try block okay and here it is going to wait for 30 seconds just to see if it can find the ui element if it does not find the ui element because i have mentioned continue on error in the property panel okay so it will continue but it will not come to the cache section so it will not throw any kind of an exception if you enable continue on error it is not going to throw any exception so it won't come to the catch section at all okay remember this point so looked at it now if you look read the output panel nothing was written because it it did not come to the catch block at all okay that should be the first point you should note when the continue on error is enabled even though there is an error it is not going to come previously when it was not enabled it came it went to exception this is this is the first point you should 
node okay now the second point let's say i'm going to add a right line activity below this okay what they have written they have written try right so i'm going to write try and now if you let me debug it so that you can see it properly okay so what will happen now it will again go to the type block and the uh, type into activity and the type into activity continue on error is still enabled right so it will wait for 30 seconds immediately after 30 seconds we learned that is not going to throw any exception if the continue on error is enabled in the property panel right for this activity okay so what it will do as programmed it's supposed to continue to the next activity if continue on error is enabled for one activity it will go to the below activity okay so you can see it went to the below activity and it will never go to the exception because continue on error is enabled so what is the output has appeared if you go to the output panel try so what should be your answer you getting it why what should be the answer the answer should be try okay this is the correct answer because you need to carefully read if continue on error is enabled see you might get confused what is activate so you should know the activate means it brings to the foreground so there is no you know this is just to confuse you so there is no point of looking at this okay wait for ready all these are there but the main point here is this is coming from the exception handling chapter okay continue on error when this is enabled when this is enabled true you should always read what is the meaning of that particular property for example okay if you highlight this it will give you the entire meaning specifies to continue executing the remaining activities even if the current activity fail that means even if there is an exception fail means exception right even it fail it will still continue to the next activity so this is the answer okay this is the answer so because of that because of continue on error right because of continue on error the try catch block make no sense reason being even though there is an error for this activity it won't go to the catch section because of the properties enabled and will execute the right line activity so the answer is try so getting it so this kind of a logical sense you have to build only when because never answer a question just by a guess because if you have guessed it there are high chances you will go wrong high chances but if you have built the logical understanding what can happen what should happen what will happen if you know the logical expression of all of this because a software always runs on the logic that we have built right as per the programming so a guess won't work how it should work you should know the logic so now it must be very very clear how the continue on error logic works and why when it is enabled it never goes to the cache section that's why whatever activity mentioned below this will execute so your correct answer is try okay guys so thank you so much for watching this please do continue to watch uh, come to this playlist uipath certification from our home home page and you will be able to find so many videos i am going to post here which is going to help you uh, clear the certification and if you are preparing for any interview even there it's going to help you thank you guys for watching it and we are going to come up with more such interesting contents for you thank you take care bye bye